Rainier, this smells fantastic already. Oh, what are we making? A panzanella stuffing salad for Thanksgiving. So this is for Thanksgiving, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of white wine. I added a little earlier. And this I love how you measure your white wine. Well, <laughs> well I did a you, little you're earlier. You're a pro. I did That's it That's what Rainier doesn't need to measure. It takes a whole cup, <laughs> and I put it in because okay. I, I wanted to cook down hot sausage. Yeah. Took it out of yeah. Took it mm. out of the casing. Okay. Let me just quickly tell you, this recipe is made for like a friends giving. If you're taking something to your friend's house for Thanksgiving, you know you've heard of that. Right. Sure. Well, this I found this recipe in a friends giving chapter of a cookbook, and I thought, oh, how much fun this would be. It's a salad that's really kind of the stuffing. All right, so you wouldn't put this in the burr. No. This, this is, is like a side dish right, kind of right, thing. Right, right, okay, right. Okay, all right. So this is a focaccia bread mm -hmm. that I cubed. I put a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I made croutons. So does that mean, do you just let it sit to get a little hard, it, or uh, no, you well, toast the it in the oven? Yeah, toast it okay. in the oven. All right. So that's that. And then what I have here is radicchio. That looks okay. great. And I have fennel. Do you know anything about fennel? I told you, I love fennel. You love I fennel? I love the okay. smell of fennel. Well, there's the fennel bulb, right? Okay. And it's it's the taste, and it's sort of like anise. Yes. And, and I like that taste, too. And it's found in a lot of Italian recipes, and this really does lend itself to being an Italian recipe. We've actually put this on the grill and grilled it. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. So, so good. So what you want to do it's just very thinly sliced. You want to try okay, it? Okay, sure. Okay, the fennel, as thinly okay. as you can without getting my fingers in the middle. Right, of right. We don't want any, any injuries with our fennel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we're going to do the fennel, and we have red onion. We mm -hmm. have the red Anjou pears, and we also have arugula. So awesome. it's just it's just sort of everything that you might want to find in stuffing with the exception of the arugula. Put that in there. Okay. We'll stick this over here. And now as you can see, the one cup of white wine with the one pound of the Italian hot sausage, I took it out of the casing, is pretty much cooking down into nothingness. So I have some basil. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to put my onion in here, okay. red onion, my arugula, maybe, a or not a radicchio, forgive me. Okay. That's okay. You're forgiven. Home. Thank you. <laughs> pears. I love that. I love the idea. Fennel. Fennel, okay. okay. And all of this goes in here, Okay. but there's more. So I'm going to really hit this with some white wine vinegar and olive oil. Okay. Okay, and then I'll put some salt and pepper. But, and this is the trick. You have to let this sit for about 30 minutes before you serve it, and uh, then you'll toss in the arugula. I see. So you really want it to soak in mm -hmm. to the croutons. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this is like a Selena-sized bite. I don't know. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Wait. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right. Mm. It's, oh, it's so good isn't, right now. Isn't it good? I mean, what an unusual salad. I love the sausage, I love the pear, mm -hmm. and I taste the fennel too. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Yay! Mm. Did you bring back the Tupperware? I did bring back the Tupperware. Okay. I was a good boy. <laughs> I brought it back to Rainier's house. But you know what? The fennel in that. The sausage oh, with the fennel. Yeah. Oh, it just takes it to another level. Rainier knows how to do it. Well, she does. She's professional. She's a professional. She's doing yeah. it a while. <laughs> yes. She's got it. <laughs> All right. For a copy of today's recipe, go to, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you right there.